Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Farming Simulator 22 on the French map. And I was over here, I was looking, we have quite a lot of wool. Five full pallets, to be precise. And I have been looking after these, I did pull a bale out there and move some of them in there, but... We also have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, almost 14 full pallets of eggs, which is quite a lot. And it is November. And November is supposed to be the best time to sell your eggs. You have enough food. It is supposed to be the best time to sell your eggs. So we can go to the farm shop and get almost 4,400. Well, almost 4,500. Per 1,000 litres. We have a lot of lettuce and a lot of tomatoes. So what we could do is... Load up the Massey onto the flatbed. Get the... The Valtra is up at the oil mill from the last episode. We were tipping off all the sunflower seeds. Into the oil mill, which is tipping away nicely, making some sunflower oil out of our seeds. So that's fantastic. I can't wait to sell that. Should be worth quite a bit. And as for now, we have 53k. So I am looking to either buy another field, which will be 39, or buy another tractor, which I don't know what I'm going to buy. I don't know if I quite want to go to large tractors. They are extremely expensive. I don't think we'd be able to afford a large one. Like the cheapest large one would be... 247. Yeah, they're going up. Any mods? 250? Um, yeah. 247 for this John Deere. Basic, which is only 300 brick. Which is nice, but... Yeah, but you're still talking almost 250,000. But what if we went for a medium with a bit more horsepower? So went to the high end of the medium down here. Uh, this case, I don't know what sort of horsepower this goes to. Um, okay, I don't know what all that's changed. I just want the engine set up. Oh, so the max is only 185, so that's no use. That's 236. That's almost a large tractor, the price of them. I don't think we're quite going to make that much money out of what we sell. I mean, we have this John Deere. Or we don't. We have this John Deere. Oh, that's expensive. Yeah, so really, I kind of want another one. I kind of want another tractor. Man, maybe we could... Oh, these are all way too low horsepower. Any medium tractor mods? 70 cent and 100. 250 break, which wouldn't be bad. It's also very cheap at 103,000 with that engine. 250 break, which, uh, like, the Massey is 260. We could then go and get our Massey, uh, which is the 7724S. Um. Yeah, we have the bigger version. So we could... Uh, 7724S is the one we have. Which is 260 brake. We could boost that up to 280 brake. And then we'd have a 190 or 250 and a 280 brake. Which would be nice. But I definitely think we need a, we need a tractor. Um, An extra tractor. Yeah, I was having a look. I think I'm going to buy that little case. Um, the other thing is, we could sell the Valtra. Which, I don't know if it'd be worth it, because I do want to upgrade tractors. I don't want to be getting rid of tractors. We could sell this. Uh, we get almost 50 grand for it. And then sell with what we have, and then have two kind of higher horsepower tractors. This is only 190. And this is 260, so I don't think you can actually change Valtra's horsepower. Uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we can't change the horsepower to that. We'll be ashamed to get rid of it, because it is a handy little tractor for, especially like the fertilizing. Um, I really don't want to sell it. I think what we should do is sell our lettuce. 
lettuce and tomatoes and our wool and our eggs and see what we get because we have quite a lot of eggs and they are at an extremely good price so i know it says it's going down but almost four and a half thousand per 1000 liters is extremely good sell all that i'll get the vulture off mulch in them fields and we'll sell all that and then we'll buy the tractor the case and then we'll have two fairly decent high horsepower tractors and then the next thing to buy out of maybe what we get out of the next harvest and the next whenever the sunflower oil is ready we could then buy field 39 but i don't think there's any point in buying field 39 unless we have more tractors because we just simply wouldn't have enough machinery if we bought that now like it's just there'd be too much going on whereas we could just set workers off and we could do our own thing so i'm definitely going to do that so i will get the valtra to come back down this way with the tipper that has the trailer on it from the the class trailer from tipping the sunflower seeds up there and i'll get this hooked up to the flatbed and load up all these off camera because again it's kind of quite a boring job just watching me load up pallets onto that so i'll get that done and when all that's finished and loaded up and we're ready to go i will be back Okay, I have the lettuce and the tomatoes all loaded up. It's quite a big load already. Uh, I didn't go tree high because, again, it's a very unstable trailer. There is some tomatoes left in here. Not quite enough to make a full pallet. So, I'll just run into here and set that to uh, selling. So, I'll just sell off the rest of that pallet and then the lettuce will stay stored just because it's not enough to do a full pallet. I might throw the honey on as well while we're going. We're after building up a nice bit of stock there. That's quite a lot. So I will chuck all that on as well. At, uh, somewhere there is uh, not much room left considering we have 14 or 15 pallets of eggs. And 5 I think or 6 pallets of wool. We'll get it all on though. Somewhere or another. And uh, I will be back when... I'm done loading the eggs. Okay, I'm back after all of that and oh my god, I'm dizzy from picking up and spinning around and all sorts. Um Oh my eyes have just gone so like watery. That's literally all the lettuce, all the tomatoes, all the wool, all the eggs, which did end up being fourteen full pallets of eggs. There's a this piece over here, which I won't bother sell, it's not much, not even a hundred pieces. All the honey. So, this is definitely, by far, the most impressive load we have ever sold. And it's going to be very, very interesting to see what our end figure will be. Um, I am kind of rendering a video at the same time as this, so it might be a bit stuttery. It's flicking between 45 and 50. Um, yeah, it's a lot of pressure on my computer running this at the best graphics and also rendering a 1440p video. But anyway, uh, I shouldn't have been uh, shouldn't have been rendering the video and then recording at the same time. But I probably won't do much. I'll probably buy the tractor and maybe set off the Valtra on a worker to mulch one of the fields and I let him go off then in the meantime when I end the video. But as you can see, we've 19,600 litres of eggs, which is a, a, a colossal amount. There's no there's no other word for it, it's colossal. And the price of eggs is 4,000, nearly 4.5. So that's quite a lot of money. There's 9,000 litres of tomatoes, 6,000 litres of lettuce, 5,000 litres of wool, and 4,300 litres of honey. What's honey actually going for? Um, is honey good? Three thousand. So that's that's about twelve thousand or er, uh, like euros in just honey alone. Uh, the wheels are slipping on this, as you can see. This tractor is even struggling. Wow! I'm not going to be able to take this there like that. I think the trailer is even glitching into the ground. It's that heavy. That's... That's a lot. 
Wow, the trailer is literally broken. I'm going to give myself extra horsepower, and if it doesn't work or make it any faster, um, I will just take the take it back off and not give it to myself. But, um, yeah, I mean. Wait, it's hard to see 20 horsepower making that much of a difference. I think I'll just have a really slow drive ahead of me. I will do that, because that will definitely be worth it. But... Yeah, I think I have a really, really slow um, drive ahead of me, so... I've, I'm not going to time-lapse this, because that would be ridiculous. It would be like a two-hour long just time-lapse. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to the farm shop and sell all this and probably see you guys when I'm up there and then I'll be able to fly over to the spinnery fairly quickly because it'll just be the wool left, so that won't be too bad. But, um, yeah, that's literally, this is literally what I have facing myself. A really, really long drive and... I think there's quite a steep hill up to the farm shop, if I'm not mistaken, so that would be fun. But I'll see you guys when I'm there. I'm almost at the farm shop. Oh, it's been such a long, painful drive. The fastest speed I think I got to on, like, pretty level ground was, like, 18, 19 kilometers per hour. But, uh, yeah, from that bridge, train track bridge, the whole way to here is kind of like a bit of a hill. I've been kind of down 6 to 8 kilometers per hour. Uh, very, very slow. Um, I don't know if the extra 20 horsepower would make that much of a difference, so it's hard to know. But I was tempted to go and, like, give myself the money to buy a really, really high horsepower one and see what the difference would be. Is it just the fact that the trailer is like glitching into the ground? The tires are kind of like... Because it's just like too heavy for the trailer, like I don't know. But we're finally here. Once we get rid of all this, we should be able to get rid of the wool pretty fast because we'll be able to do top speed over to this spinnery. It's going to be very interesting to see what we come out with after selling all this. I've never sold a load this big. Everything all at once. It's crazy. Here we go. I know wool is not here, but... Just look at that money rolling in. Oh. Want it all in one go. No! I want it all in one go. That's not all going to come then, is it? In one go, these are going to... Oh, they will. Wow. 132,318. Wow. And yeah, I'll just leave it down. Chuck it there. And yeah, fix these so they're not hanging off. Crap over them. And, uh, yeah, off, well, off we go. 132,000 plus, um, I'm not too sure how much we're getting for the wool, but 5,000 liters. And wool is pretty much going for two and a half. So, eh, we get a nice bit of money. And um, the more the better, obviously, but. Um, yeah, I'll meet you guys over at the spinnery. 12,839 for all the wool. That leaves us with 191,000. Wow. That's quite a lot of money. And I love it. That was a... Uh, oops, dropped the signpost. Let's uh, have a look at this tractor again. Yeah, I think I'll go for the Pro Series and go for the little bit higher horsepower. Uh, 142,500. 206 horsepower. Pretty much the same horsepower as the 
Massey. But we can do the Massey up to 280, which we might do at some stage. Um, but yeah, definitely another tractor of this kind of horsepower is what we need. Um, we could go on and get one for like 300 and save up a bit more, but I think this kind of horsepower is good for this map. Like our, our fields aren't that that big that we don't have that big machinery to get over 300 horsepower. So I think this is kind of nice 260, 280, 250, to two, between 250, 300 is a nice kind of size horsepower. I will go and put on white tires. Just because it's going to be a working tractor. Um, see what sort of tires are like the best. Oh, the Michelin's are very fat and chubby, aren't they? I think we'll go with those. And that's one forty-four five hundred. Yeah, I think we should definitely get that forty k kilometers per hour which doesn't slow either which is just nice so yeah we will buy that and we will go collect it in very short actually i will just set a worker off to bring this back so he should yeah go on there and here's our new tractor nice machine very nice machine 7250 case Pro. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yep. I don't think there's anything else we need. Um, at the farm, like we have a bit of money we could spend. We've almost fifty k, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing really. Uh, left. We could maybe actually. What we will do is pay another ten thousand off the loan. So we're now down to 60,000 left on the loan and we have 36,000 in the bank. So yeah, that's really m more or less all the income we're going to get for this year. We are going to have to sow the new field or the fields. So just a... Uh... Oh yeah, very nice. Oh, it has the gear shift sounds. Very nice. Okay, we'll get this back to the yard. Very nice inside. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. to have another horse or high horsepower tractor like this yeah that is uh, extremely nice I know it's kind of like an older generation tractor it's not um like a brand new tractor like it is brand new but it's not um modern if you get me it's kind of like a classic like a modern classic maybe but yeah the lights are very nice on it Oh yeah, all oh, lights everywhere down by the steps on the roof. Oh yeah, even work lights on the back. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So we didn't really do much this episode, I mean, I've been recording for well over like an hour and 20 minutes, uh, just because of the loading of all the pallets, it's really, really, um, takes a lot of time, very time consuming. I will just mulch a field maybe very quickly in a time lapse with the new tractor, just to, just to use it. So, yeah, I will probably do the other field to my left. I'm going to get some lights on. Yeah, 
So I'll mulch this really quick in a time lapse just to get some use out of our new tractor. And uh, I'll be with you guys when I'm back. When I'm done. Just about done. Uh, I did miss a few little bits there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see the little stalks and this kind of daylight. <laughs> um, but I will try and run back and just get a few little bits I missed. I don't think I missed much, but it's kind of hard to see them. I don't know if there's a row over here that I missed. Yeah, here. I think that should pretty much cover it then. So, um, yeah, I like the tractor, very, very happy with it, uh, we definitely need a third tractor, um, just get so much work done now so much faster, especially if we're going to be having another field, uh, if we're going to buy another field at the end of next harvest, uh, another tractor is definitely needed, so um, I will leave that there because we are going to need to mulch more. In the next episode, uh, we'll have this field to mulch and field 34 to mulch over there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, if you guys love the farming, please make sure to subscribe and help the channel out. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in some more Farming Simulator 22. Thanks for watching and goodbye.